Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another product video. Today we're going to be checking out this RJ45 crimping tool kit. And I'm going to be showing you guys real quick on how to make an Ethernet Cat5 connection. Uh, so let's open it up and see what it looks like. Alright, so this is the tool kit. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. So here we have the RJ45 crimping tool itself. It's got both a six pin and an eight pin. One's for the RJ45, one's a RJ11. And we've got uh, the backs for the ethernet connections, the RJ45 connections. Uh, you got the actual RJ45s. Oh, and I love this. These are the easy ones. It goes all the way through, opposed to a standard RJ45, which does not. It is just one solid piece. So the easy ones make it, as you would imagine, easy. Uh, and then we've got a tester here. It's a, both a RJ11 and an RJ45 tester. Uh, these are great, especially if you just did a long run of Cat5, Cat6, whatever you're running, your Ethernet. And let's say you just ran a, an IP camera and it's not working and you don't know why. Well, you could test the connection and it'll tell you. Well, that's why it's not working. Just takes a 9 volt battery. And we've got this tool here and also uh, it's got a little manual which is really helpful uh, it'll tell you how to structure the cables inside of the RJ45 I always use the uh, 56 8 B code standard you could use either one uh, I always use B uh, everybody that I work with they all use B as well but it doesn't really matter, just as long as you make sure that you do both ends, uh, either A or B. So, open up the tool real quick. Get your ratchet pretty good. take a piece of a uh, cat 5e that's what I've got I always run it a little bit longer than however far you're supposed to run it that way I've got plenty to work with and then just going off of this code structure right here we'd go orange orange the orange stripe first I always have to look at it too every time orange orange green lined up just like that starting with one through eight uh, but what I do is I'll usually do this backwards. So I will have one on this side. So I'll kind of look at it like this. Kind of upside down. So brown, brown, green, blue, blue, green orange orange and then I'll clip off any excess there and then I'll slide it in this way just like that it does matter 
how you have this oriented. Uh, usually when I look at it, I'll look at it this view and I'll feed it through this way, uh, starting with one on this side to eight that side. Another way of doing that is starting from one on this side and going from eight there and then it kind of matches up just like that. So you've got orange, orange, green, blue, blue, green, brown, brown. Uh, again, if you're using the B version, which is the version that I use. neat clean connection there that's what it ends up looking like and right now we'll just turn this on it's just going through and it's checking everything All right, and we look good, but what if it wasn't right? Well, it would probably look something like that. It was the RJ45 Professional Crimping Kit. Uh, thanks for watching. I thought it worked great, uh, especially for the price. Uh, it's, it's a real good tool. Uh, I would put it right up there with Klein or uh, any of the other name brands. I thought it worked awesome, uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.